But let's say we had an equation to solve, and it was a polynomial equation, which means you've got powers, basically a power function, x cubed, x to the fourth, x squared, x to the fifth, and so on. Uh, we just need to have our equations in standard form where one side equals zero, and then we can use the calculator to solve it. So I first would have to subtract 4x and subtract 30 to make this equation 2x squared minus 4x minus 30 equals zero. Um, or you could just subtract the 2x squared on the right, and that would give you the same thing. So in order to use the calculator, I'm going to use this. the second app that we talked about is option 9, and then it's the first option, polynomial root finder. So if I hit enter there, the order is the highest power on our equation. So this equation, the highest power is a 2. So we leave this as a 2. And then we want real solutions. Um, HL might be trying to find imaginary solutions at some point. So that would be the A plus BI. And then the radian and degree is not going to matter for this function because it doesn't have sine or cosine in it. And you shouldn't have to worry about that. So then to click next, I hit graph. And now I need to type in the coefficients of my polynomial. So if I leave the 2x squared positive, which I usually like to leave the x squared positive, so I'm just going to type in 2 for that coefficient. And then the next coefficient is on the x term. And so I'm going to have to subtract 4x. So this is going to actually be minus 4, minus 4x, and then minus, I forget what that number was, subtract 30, so minus 30. And then this, this is crucial, it has to be equal to zero. You cannot change that zero. So now all we gotta do is click on graph to solve it, and it tells us all the possible x values. x is minus three and x is five. So what if you had, what if you had a different um, polynomial equation? Maybe you've got one that has a cube, a, uh, x cubed, so you'd have to change the order to be three. And now if I hit next, now notice there is an extra variable here, x cubed and x squared and x and zero. But let's say our function, let me go to Desmos and just pull up a function here. And let's say our function was missing a coefficient. So if we had y equals x cubed plus 2x squared, but then maybe it's missing the x term and it just goes right to a constant, a okay, plus nine. Um, so where'd our function go? Most of it's hanging out up there, but it's got one x-intercept right here, and that's what we're gonna try to find using the calculator. Now, you could just graph this um, and find the x-intercepts, but this is just another option for you. So to type this one in, our coefficient on the x cubed term is a one. So I need to make that a one and hit enter. The coefficient on the x squared term is a two. So I'm gonna plug in a two there. And now there is no x term in my function. So I'm gonna leave that as a zero x. And then the constant was a plus nine and again, this has to be equal to zero, so essentially we're finding x-intercepts. Now I just hit solve, graph, and it tells me this one only has one x-intercept at negative three, just like Desmos.